What's going on guys, this is Rob, and if you're enjoying the content that I'm uploading onto my channel, then feel free to subscribe, and you can also offer suggestions on topics and characters and storylines and whatnot that we can have discussions on uh, later on in this channel. So as we return to our Versus series, what I want to do is talk about a battle that a lot of you guys have been asking for in the comments section for quite some time. Now while most of our battles have featured characters from Marvel taking on characters from DC, today we're going to branch out a bit and use a character from Image Comics and we're going to try to answer the question, who would win, Spawn? or the Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze. Now, what I think makes this such a popular suggestion, as well as an intriguing battle, is just how similar these characters are in terms of both what powers they have and how they got them. And so much like our previous videos, what we're gonna do is we're going to start with each character, breaking them down, and then eventually asking the question who would win. So the character that we know as Spawn is actually a guy named Al Simmons, who was a high-ranking assassin in the CIA. Now, once he began to question the CIA's motivations and methods, he was killed by his partner at the behest of his superiors. And so due to the fact that some of the people that Al had killed during his time with the CIA had actually been innocent, he ended up going to hell. Now while he was there, Al Simmons trades his soul to a demon named Malboja for the opportunity to see his wife again. However, as part of the trade, Al Simmons unwittingly became a hellspawn, which is a superpowered demonic entity forced to do the bidding of Malboja in the war between heaven and hell. Now Spawn himself derives some of his powers from the use of a symbiotic suit known as K7 Letha that feeds off the energy emitted by his body, which is made of a substance called necroplasm. As a result of this, Spawn not only weighs in excess of 500 pounds, but also possesses superhuman strength, speed, and durability. In addition to this, his symbiotic suit also allows him to shapeshift, create shields and weapons out of his body's necroplasm, and gives him a spider sense-like ability that allows him to sense impending danger. It's also important to note that since Spawn does not technically have a human body, he can an extreme amount of damage as he's been able to survive being impaled, dismembered, electrocuted, and even walking through the fires and lava of hell. And in fact, it's been said that the only way to kill Spawn is to cut off his head. Now, in addition to these enhanced abilities, Spawn can also perform various feats of magic, including generating hellfire, electricity, and powerful energy blasts. He's also able to summon other hellspawn, as well as imbue other souls with hellspawn powers. Spawn also possesses telekinetic and telepathic abilities, which he can use to influence the thoughts and behaviors of others. He can also fly, teleport, turn invisible, face through solid objects, and stop time. And so, in essence, Spawn is one of the most powerful beings that we've ever seen in the history of comic books. This is compounded by the fact that one of his more unique abilities allows him to summon the souls of all the people an individual has ever hurt and allow those souls to tear the individual apart. Furthermore, Spawn has managed to trap both God and Satan in their own pocket dimensions and has demonstrated a reality warping ability after his power level was elevated to being even with the divine entities as he managed to reform the earth to his own liking. And so what I want to do is I actually want to move away from Spawn for a second, and I want to focus on Johnny Blaze. Now, much like Spawn, Ghost Rider also owes his powers to a deal that he made with a demonic force. Originally, Johnny Blaze was a stunt cyclist whose adoptive father was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And so in order to prevent his father's death, Blaze sold his soul to the demon Mephisto, who did cure his father's cancer, but would eventually die due to a motorcycle stunt gone wrong. And so because Mephisto was unable to claim Johnny's soul due to the power of love that Johnny held for his girlfriend Roxanne, he ended up getting revenge on Johnny by by bonding him to a demon known as Zarathos. And so as a result, Johnny was forced to become the Ghost Rider and was bound to hunt down evil souls and return them to hell. Now, as the Ghost Rider, Johnny received several powers, and I have a video on the powers of the various Ghost Riders, including Johnny Blaze, if you feel inclined to watch it. But for the sake of this video, we're going to run over these real quick, simply so that we have them so that they make sense. Now again, much like Spawn, Ghost Rider has superhuman strength, reflexes, and durability. He's also able to create and manipulate Hellfire, a flame that can burn not only flesh, but can also sense the souls of his victims. And the most notable manifestation of his ability is the motorcycle Johnny rides, which is made completely of Hellfire and is able to travel at super speeds and even travel up vertical surfaces. He also uses Hellfire to transform an ordinary chain into a dangerous weapon and can also project Hellfire itself at his opponents. And so just to show you how powerful Hellfire is, Johnny Blaze has used Hellfire against Iron Man and Doctor Doom and was able to use Hellfire to penetrate both of their armors and harm them and has used it effectively against the Hulk and Lucifer. Now another power that Ghost Rider possesses is the Penance Stare which allows him to force his victim to relive all of the harm they've ever done to another person and experience it as both mental anguish and physical pain. The Penance Stare has proven to be extremely effective and allowed Ghost Rider to incapacitate powerful opponents like Doctor Strange and Doctor Voodoo while the latter served as Sorcerer Supreme. 
And so now that we've gone over each of these characters, I wanna go through and see if we can figure out a winner. Now, honestly, the very thing that makes this battle so intriguing is also what makes it so hard to definitively declare a victor. These two characters are both extremely powerful, can take an insane amount of damage, can heal remarkably quickly, and command the very forces of hell. What also makes this especially difficult is that many of the weapons each competitor would use would more than likely not be effective against the other, namely the hellfire that both use as their primary offensive weapon, since I don't see how either would be able to be harmed by it. That being said, I think this battle would actually be epic, as each of these would be a more than worthy competitor for the other. At the end of the day though, I would have to give this battle to Spawn for a couple of reasons. First, on top of all of his powers, Spawn has the edge and combat experience due to his time in the Marine Corps and the CIA, which would give him a strategic and tactical advantage. More significant than that, however, is that Ghost Rider's power is actually limited by Johnny Blaze's human body. In Marvel Comics, it has been established that the power of the demon Zarathos would be great enough to do incredible things like create explosions so large that it harmed the Incredible Hulk in his World Breaker form as well as defeat the physical manifestation of Lucifer. However, when Johnny is in control of Ghost Rider, Zarathos is unable to reach his full potential. With that in mind, this battle could actually depend on whether Johnny Blaze decides to let go of control of the Ghost Rider, which would make him harder to defeat, but which Blaze has been hesitant to do in the past. However, even at full strength, I'm not fully convinced that Ghost Rider could actually defeat Spawn. Spawn possesses powers equal to the level of a god. He's banished God and Satan from reality, and if he's able to do that, I see no reason he could pretty much do the same for Ghost Rider. And for that reason, I'm giving the victory to Spawn. Now that's not to say that there are no scenarios where Ghost Rider wins. Maybe he finds a way to decapitate Spawn, but as I said earlier, I think Spawn's going to be resistant to most of Ghost Rider's attacks due to his control over Hellfire and demonic forces. Also, I want to point out that even though we focus on the Johnny Blaze version of Ghost Rider, some of you might be wondering about Marvel's new Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, and I think that in this case, Spawn's victory would be even more lopsided, as Robbie Reyes has not really demonstrated his power level in anywhere near close to Johnny Blaze's level. But with that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end, and let me know down in the comment section, because I'm sure a lot of you guys have opinions. <laughs> let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Who, would you, who do you think would win between Spawn and Ghost Rider? Not only that, uh, feel free to post comments down below and let me know what videos we should do on the Versus series in the future. And if you guys are new here to Comics Explained, make sure you guys uh, hit the subscribe button to become part of the Rob Corps, and make sure you guys drop a like. And I will catch you all later. Peace.